guys, it's me, Ashley, and today I'm gonna do a tutorial on this. I'm calling it Chocolate Covered Strawberry Soft Glam Valentine's Day Makeup. I hope you guys like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs up. Help your girl out. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I hope you guys watch the rest of my videos. I have one that's getting kind of popular about Burger King. I'll link it down below. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Enjoy it, guys. I have my cute little ponytail keeping my hair out of my face. I've already put on my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream cup. And I'm going to spray my face with my Urban Decay Quick Fix. That's up pretty much dry, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my Optical Illusion Primer by Urban Decay. And I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way in the color Light Beige. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Flat F80 Kabuki Brush. Flat Kabuki F80 Kabuki I'm just going to squirt onto my hand. For brows today, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Auburn. And I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever brush. It's um, 274. It has a spoolie on one end and then the angle brush on the other. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to attempt a voiceover, and hopefully it works out for me, but if it doesn't, the rest of what you're going to be hearing is going to be music. So either you're going to be dancing or you're going to be hearing me talk. So, here we go. Alright, we're going to be starting off with Orange Soda by Anastasia and our E40 Tapered Blending Brush by Sigma. We're going to blend that color right into the crease. It's going to transition our pinks really well because it's got a it's an orange color obviously orange soda so just blend it into your crease so we want to have a really crisp clean line so I'm gonna add some really cute pink polka dot tape yep there it is we're gonna go in with Birkin which is kind of a brownish yep brick color also on our E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Sorry if you guys hear my dryer in the background or the airplanes in the sky, but I live in a really loud area. Just blend it straight to the crease. Deepen it up a little bit. Now we're going to go in with China Rose, which is more of a brick color. We're going to be using the E25 blending brush from Sigma and we're going to blend that right into the outer and inner corners of both eyes. This is going to start our halo. All 
right, we're going in with Supersonic and the Urban Decay After Dark palette with that same blending brush. E25 by Sigma. Sorry if you heard me drop the phone. I'm trying to do my voiceover and I dropped it. Alright y'all, now we're going to be going in with Scene on that same blending brush, E25 by Sigma. And both of these last colors, we're just going in and deepening our halo and the outer and inner corners of both eyes. Okay, we're going to be going in with Blazing, which is again a brick color, but it's even darker. We're using our pencil brush by Sigma. We're putting that on the inner and outer corners. This is just darkening our halo. We're going to use the MAC 224 brush to blend out any harsh edges. We do not want to have any harsh lines. The MAC 242, and we're going into our pink opal in our Alchemist palette by Kat Von D. I know I'm all over the place as far as palettes and shadows go, you guys. Just use whatever you need. Any colors that are close to will work. We are spraying our brush with Mist Quick Fix, sorry, by Urban Decay. Going back in with our pencil brush, E30 by Sigma, and deepening those inner and outer corners again. Spraying your brush just makes the color pop so much more. Going back in with our MAC brush and blending, and back in with our E30 with Hot Chocolate by Anastasia. This is gonna be our chocolate covered part of the strawberry. We're deepening those outer corners, you guys. I told you I like a deep, dark outer corner, and I do. E40 Blending Brush by Sigma. Just blend out that chocolate. Again, no harsh lines. It's looking pretty. And use as much color as you want. Take your time, build it up. Just get it how you want it to be. Do not rush. All right, so we're using our angled E70 brush by Sigma. We're gonna be going into Kitten by Stila. Use any, I like a shiny brow bone. This is highlighting our brow bone. You can use any shimmery or white color you want. Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand. Brighten those under eyes, girls and boys. Brighten them up. Now we're going to use light neutral because light sand's a little too light. That way it blends out nice and neat. I know it looks like I'm using a lot, but when you get old, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we're using our trusty damp beauty blender to blend that out. And we're going to be using it again to set with Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to be using the Velour Puff to set the rest of my face and my Sephora, sorry guys, featherweight brush to brush away any excess powder. Going back with our E70 by Sigma and we're going to take hot chocolate under the eyes, smoke out that lower lash line. We're using Laguna by NARS to bronze the face. We don't want to look dead and the shade and light palette with the E25 I mean the F25 I'm sorry you guys contour that face chisel those cheekbones we're using the Tarte double wear liner I totally skipped out my wing part so we're using Celestial by Cover FX drops on an E70 to brighten that inner corner I used Benefit Lashes, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Our highlighter is going to be by Hourglass. I'll put the color in the description box. Huda Beauty Trendsetter for the lips, and apparently I went way quicker than I meant to when I was editing this video. Let's use All Nighter. Set it all in place. And this is the final look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for skipping so much, but sometimes that's how it goes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.